Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be reviewing the Parallel World Pharmacy anime, so let's stop delaying and jump right into it. Let's start off with a nice little synopsis, and this anime is like any other isekai. Bro was a pharmacist, then he worked himself to death, then he woke up in the body of like a 10 year old noble by the name of Pharma D. Medicis. In this fantasy medieval world, pharmacists have magical powers and cool stuff like that. Eventually our boy Pharma starts to bring modern medicine to this medieval world. He cures sicknesses, opens a pharmacy, helps the poor people, and all that good stuff, and I think that base basically wraps up this nice little synopsis. Let's kick this review off with the plot and story, and I honestly enjoyed the plot. They sprinkled in things to make the plot a little bit more unique, and that made things a bit more interesting. Like, we got some of Pharma's backstory from his past life. I'm personally a sucker for a good character backstory, so we got to see what happened to his little sister. I guess his little sister died or something, and that's why he became a pharmacist, so he can cure sicknesses and stuff like that. And some wholesome memories too, but I don't think all of them were wholesome. But it kind of gave you a reason to why he became a pharmacist in the first place. I also think they paced the story quite well. Things moved along nicely. They went from one thing to another, and it didn't really feel like it was dragging at any point. It was nice to see Pharma progress through this world and go from a normal noble to a top-level pharmacist. He just did his thing, and I think at one point he took on the plague and like all these other crazy sicknesses, and it was really nice nice to see how he was like, hey, I'm top dog now. He was like, I'm curing everything and coming to my pharmacy, I'm better than all these other hoes who charge too much, alright? All around, I have to say, Parallel World Pharmacy has a really solid plot and story. It kept me quite entertained throughout the entire duration of the story. Most isekai kind of get really boring really fast, but Parallel World Pharmacy does have a good story that kept me quite entertained, so that's always a plus. Up next, I would like to talk about the characters. Now, I will say the characters were good, just not really memorable. You got Pharma's dad. He was a hunk of man meat, I tell you what. Then there's Eleanor. She was kind of like Pharma's teacher at the start, and she was there, I guess. And that's honestly it for the characters that I can name right now. Like I said, the anime had good characters, they just aren't the most memorable. And that's not a bad thing by any means. There's only so much time a series can, you know, spend on a single character without, you know, overdoing it. And you just can't really make every single character extremely unique and memorable. We can talk about Pharma more, but I feel like I've talked about him enough in the plot section of this video. But Pharma's cool, I guess. He does his thing, he becomes a famous famous pharmacist and he <laughs> makes medicine and cures sickness which is cool but I'll just wrap this category up by saying yeah the characters are good I also want to touch on the isekai aspects of this anime, so I guess we'll say that isekai is a little bonus category for this review, and I'm honestly happy to say that Parallel World Pharmacy is one of the best isekais I've watched in a really long time. Isekai is just such a dead genre for me, it's so boring, and I was a little hesitant to watch Parallel World Pharmacy because it's an isekai, but I have to say it surprised me by how good it was from start to finish. It was different and more unique than 99% of other isekai anime. It didn't fall into the usual whack tropes that isekai anime uses, like a bland copy and pasted main character, a harem, and over the top fan service, trashy story, and I can go on and on about how bad isekai as a genre is, but Parallel World Pharmacy fortunately didn't cop out and use any of these tropes. They actually took the time to make a good show, and I can't compliment them enough for that, because good god, I'd rather watch paint dry and grass grow than sit through some of these isekais, because they are so bad, and honestly I'm just rambling about how bad isekai is, but for the most part, Parallel World Pharmacy is a great isekai, and it outdoes all of the competition, because the competition is so low, it doesn't take much to outdo it. Next, we have to talk about the art, animation, and sound design, starting with the art first. It's pretty good, nothing crazy or nothing out of the ordinary, everything looked good, and the character designs were also pretty good. I like me a good character design, and I feel like for the most part, Parallel World Pharmacy definitely had some great character designs, and they kept it unique and fresh, which is always good, but all around, I would say the art is good. The animation was also pretty solid. There wasn't much action in this anime, but when there was, it was always pretty smooth and it flowed nicely. All the other animation was good as well and, you know, it's up on screen. You can see how it flows and it's quite nice. There's nothing to really complain about the animation at all. 
As always, I don't really pay attention to the sound design, but the voice acting was solid and the opening was alright as well, so I guess we'll just say the sound design was good. And now it's time for my final score, and I'm going to give Parallel World Pharmacy a 7.5 out of 10. It has a lot of good things going for it, and I honestly can't think of anything negative to say about the anime, so that definitely has to be a compliment, but all around, I would suggest giving Parallel World Pharmacy a watch. It's a really good isekai anime. Check it out, I don't think it'll disappoint you. It's one of the best isekais I've seen in a really long time, and it honestly just blows all of the competition completely out of the water, because let's just be honest, here i'll go back on my rant isekai is a dead genre and it's so ass and it's terrible to watch but parallel world pharmacy is a good watch check it out but that's about it for this video thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts on parallel world pharmacy down in the comments check the description for all my links and i'll drop a synopsis for parallel world pharmacy down there as well don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one later